And look at, he's so happy I lowered it down for him. Is that not cute? Your solar fountain pumps are running fine. As long as you're getting water, this is working. But we have to learn the difference between direct current and alternating current. And the thing is, we can fix this. I have no idea to fix this. But we can fix this with this as well as this. Okay, now I've got too much. I'll explain all this, how we're gonna fix the flow of water with all this, including this. Watch a video, you'll understand more what I'm talking about. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. And I've had a lot of different questions on why is my pump pumping so hard? Why was it working and then it's not working and the water's shooting everywhere? Let's go over the dynamics on how this works and then I think you'll understand it more. Now, these two are going pretty good. This one's overshooting. I put tons of holes around my bucket and see, it is still splashing. And I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. What I want you to understand is the water's gotta come from the bottom and pump up. It doesn't matter how tall it is. The point is, if this tube is tiny and if you're using something smaller than one of these jumbo straws, these are drinking straws for the tapioca drinks and they're really big. You can find them at party stores. You can find Walmart's got them. Michael's has them. I get them at a little dollar store. If you can find a specialty Asian store because they're really big with their great drinks, they carry them. That's where I got one of mine. So here's the thing. The bigger the straw, the water will have a bigger volume source to go up. And when it's wider, it will flow slower. If it's narrow, it will shoot straight up. You're like, think of a, maybe a garden hose. You know, you've got all the different settings and I've got a garden hose. Let, let me grab it so you'll get an idea. Okay, so you've got all these settings on here. You've got full, flat, shower because of the nozzles. That's how the water shooting. Your solar panel's working fine. It is doing what it's supposed to do, but it's the hole where your water is coming through, which is causing it sometimes to overflow like this one. And there's a couple, couple different fixes we can do. Now, if you use a wider straw and you're still having the overshoot, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, it's the intensity of the sun. Your solar panels, let me see where it is, is producing electricity for the pump in there. So on a day that it's not so bright, like today it's really bright and we're so humid and hot, sometimes the panel gets hot and then it gets, when it gets really warm like that and the sun is just at its peak up in the sky, it's getting so much electricity that it's pumping a lot of water, even if you're using a jumbo straw. So let me show you a couple different fixes because the panel's working. Solar is a little bit different when you're, you know, instead of just plugging something in and you're getting the straight stream of electricity, here it can go up and down a little bit. And that's okay. It's not a big deal. There's a couple fixes we can do. So you see, let's start with this one. So you see how far this one is. Look at this, it's overshooting. So what we can do now is, and this is an easy fix, painter's tape, masking tape, anything that's solid. This is solid. So you can cut off a few pieces and you can work with it. So you hold it up and start with the corners. Sometimes when you put it in the middle, I have found it doesn't do anything. But the corners must be where, I don't know that much about electricity on this, but the corners is probably where it's sending all the amount of electricity that's going through. So start with a corner. So now let's say we're gonna go across this corner like this. Now we've cut a little bit off on that corner. It slowed it a little bit. Let's go and do the other corner. Now we're gonna put again on there, the other corner. It slowed it more. I can see it slowed more. Now I need some more tape. You'll have to work with it on those really bright days. This is like, it's just a simple, fast way of fixing it. And I have fixed it this way. So we've got still pretty good power. Let's go ahead and put another corner on. It's slowing more. See, it's not, there's no more spilling. And the birds don't need a fast, fast pump of water. They only want to have that slow trickle. So if you, whoops, hold on. 
So if you have to, these are really durable. They drop from the deck, they drop. Now you can do the other corner and you can play with it until you get it to where you want. Now see, I've got a really slow, oh, slow enough that here comes a bee. Oh, it's perfect for me. Now I've done the corners. This is perfect and I'm gonna leave it that way. So let me set that back up. Now look at that. It's going straight back into the bucket. All right, so we've done that. Another thing you can do, hold on. This works for whether it's a tube or a straw. Now this one is set up pretty good and this one, let me see. This one's got a tube in there. So what you do is if the water is shooting up in your bottle or whatever setup you've got, what you can do, since it's not quite doing what you want it to do, it's shooting too hard, is now you can use a soldering iron if you've got and not on the top because once it gets to the top, it's gonna to do what it's supposed to do. But further down, you have the pump down here, you can make a couple holes. So it'd be right about the middle. It may shoot back into your container, your bottle, it doesn't matter. As long as the water is not shooting sideways out anywhere, but going back in your container, it's fine. You can start with one hole, and if that doesn't work, do a second hole. Sometimes you have to make three holes. Or you could take a scissors and do the same thing. Just make a little hole. And what's gonna happen now, because this hole is small, you're gonna have water coming up the pump and it's gonna shoot out here. Just make sure that where you made the hole is inside. It could be underwater, it can be just above the water line, it won't matter. But you wanna make sure that some of the water is gonna come out through that little hole the rest will come out the top. So now you've got it going in two directions, which means your top will be a slower flow. Those are the easy fixes, but don't worry if you think it's running too fast, because like I said, you can fix it with some painter's tape or masking tape. I prefer a good painter's tape because then when you have to on a day that it's just 65 degrees and not as intense, you can pull it off. Masking tape might bake on it too much. The other thing you can do is simply Cover it with a little foil. If you don't want to use tape, put a little foil and kind of tuck it on really good and tight. Cardboard, if you want to wrap a little cardboard on it until you get the right flow that you like. So what you're doing is you're gonna contain and control your flow on your water fountain and not have to worry about doing anything else and then it's fixable. So when it's not as bright and hot like it is today, then it may not get as much power the pump. You won't need it. It might not trickle much at all. And you can go take your tape off. And if you have to, with these jumbo straws, you can get these so cheap. You usually, I mean, I actually paid a dollar for a bag, but Walmart's got them. I looked today, they've got a bag for $6. I have seen them, I think on Amazon. I don't know why they're 12, but hey, you're gonna use it for drinking too. We use it. So there's a lot of things you can use it for. Check a party store. They're called jumbo straws. They're called tapioca straws. There's different names for it. It's for the drinks that they're using that they make with tapioca. So everything goes up there. And again, like I said, easy fix. Cover your solar panel if you need to with anything that you want to use. You want to tie it with some string or something on there, but really a painter's tape or some cardboard or some foil. You can paint, tape it to the back of your panel and then just lay it out in the bright sun. But see, now I don't have that overshoot where it was pouring out and I had to come back and fill it every hour or two. And this one's fine. This one's slow. Only, I'll show you what I did there. I slowed this one down by simply taking its own cord and laying the cord on top, which created less electricity to go to the pump. I hope I explained that good. And if I didn't, ask me and I'll try to do it again, but this is how I slow it down. A lot of times just go through inside and before it gets to the top, it could be right there. I make some holes so it shoots back into the reservoir, not out. And then I have less water coming out to slow the flow. Okay, so with that, don't forget to eat what you grow and I hope I answered some of your questions. I love these fountains, I got them all over. Bye-bye. This does not have the cord on top. See how far it's splashing and how much it's going on the plate? This one, the cord is laying across it, which is slowing it down 
because it's getting less electricity. And that's how the cord is laying. Just by laying it across, it created less electricity to the pump, so it's not pumping as hard and as powerful. But the moment I move it and just take it off, see how it goes way up? Big difference. So just move the cord across if you can do it on yours that way. And look at, he's so happy I lowered it down for him. Is that not cute? So with that, have a wonderful day again. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.